Hi, this is Simon Obstel and welcome to this quick tip for Apple Motion. Now, somebody asked me how to do the coloured stripes in the classic Netflix logo. So I thought I'd do a quick tip on that and show you a method that's a lot simpler than you might imagine. So let's take a look. So for this project, I'm going with 1920 1080, a frame rate of 24 frames a second and a duration of 10 seconds. So I'm going to come over to the library and I'm going to grab from the generators a couple of generators. So first of all, I want the gradient and then I also want the cellular. So command click those and bring them in. So let's just turn off the cellular for the time being and set up our gradient. So let's open it up. Let's first of all come down and choose rainbow because it gives us a nice spread of colors like that. And let's just set up these start and end values. So negative 960 for X, zero for Y, positive 960 for the X end and zero for the Y end. Now let's come back to our cellular. First thing I want to do is make it square or at least taller. So I'm going to go for a height of 1920. And then we are going to come to distortion and scrape. Now you'll notice that if I now adjust this scrape value like that till we're off the screen, so negative 720 will probably do us. We've got this really nice effect here of these oscillating lines. What we can then do is use this as a mask for our gradient. So let's select the gradient. Let's right click, add image mask. Let's add the cellular and let's switch to luminance. And now we've got these Netflix style colored stripes. Very nice, very, very easy to do. So obviously we can increase the speed of them if we want by increasing the speed of the cellular and we can adjust the size. if We want them nice and fat or if we want them nice and thin. So let's go back to eight. One other thing I'd like to point out before we finish is that if we come back to our gradient and we come to filters and tiling and offset, and then I select the horizontal offset and add to it a ramp behavior and set that end value to say 200. You'll see that the colors are now cycling across. Actually, let's turn off the image mask so you can see that more clearly. You can see we've got this cycle of the gradient moving across like that endlessly. Because we've got our image mask, we're not actually going to see that join there, but we could actually sort that out by coming to the gradient uh, so let's just turn off that image mask just to show you. I'm going to move that one across a little bit. I'm going to select this red tag and option drag it to the end to make a copy and then just use this button here to oh no, use this button just to even it out the bottom one there. So now you'll see that because we've got red on either end of the gradient, it doesn't really matter that we're offsetting it like that. Oh, just one other thing before we go. So you might want to increase the intensity of this. So you could do that by coming back into the cellular here, opening up the gradient and grabbing this white value. And then if you drag that to the left, you can see you're really filling this out a lot more. Conversely, if we grab the black and move it across like that, we can thin out the stripes as well. Or we could bring them both close together like that so get, we get much sort of sharper stripes. So hope that was useful. Thanks very much for watching. See you again soon.